Hello and welcome to another story time. Today we're going to meet some animals. When Lulu went to the zoo by Andy Ellis. When Lulu went to the zoo, she was sad for the giraffes and the penguins too. The tigers were crying really big tears. And the life had gone out of the llama's ears. Though Lulu was only two times two, she knew that animals should not be in a zoo. And though Lulu was the size that Lulu should be, she found that she might, though it was a bit tight, fit through the bars of the cages with ease and chat to the animals as she swung through the trees. She had to be careful so nobody saw. Then she slipped out again through the little cage door. And what she discovered while she talked to them all was they dreamed of splashing in a real waterfall or dancing on icebergs that filled up the sea, or flying in the sky, flamingo or bee. In short, to know how it feels to be free. She whispered to the animals, You can come to my house, there's room for you all, from elephant to mouse. And one moonless night, she let them all go and smuggled them back so no one would know. And they lived with sweet Lulu in sweet Lulu's house. But there wasn't quite room for elephant and mouse. The fridge was too full of penguins and seals. There was no room for food, so no one had meals. And the bathroom was the right place for a lovely hot wash. But the bear in the bathtub was a bit of a squash. Though Lulu loved them with a love very deep, it was never an easy secret to keep. We found you, the six sad zookeepers said. Please give back our animals, we'll put them to bed. But Lulu was bold, and she said, Don't you see? The zoo's not the place for my best friends to be. Every one of them says they just want to be free. And she talked as only a four-year-old can of an idea she had that was called Lululand. Lulu and the zoo men imagined a place where each of the animals had oodles of space. Now, whenever she wants to, she tiptoes away to visit her friends and play there all day. But on warm moonlit nights, she invites them all back when no one is looking for a big midnight snack. Oh, children, what did you think? Did you like that book? And which was your favourite animal? Now, can you think up your own animal park or your own special zoo to keep animals safe and happy? I'd love to see your ideas. I'll see you next time for another story time. Until then, bye.